Hello and welcome to this wonderful training video series of JavaScript. So let's start with its introduction. The first question is like what is JavaScript? So JavaScript is one of the most popular and widely used programming languages in the world right now. It's growing faster than any other programming languages and big companies like Netflix, Walmart, PayPal and many others build their entire applications in JavaScript. If you will learn JavaScript, you will have no need of learning server side language because you can also run JavaScript on server side and that version of JavaScript is called as Node.js. I am living in India and here we have a lot of opportunities but we have less resources of Node.js. So it's a greater opportunity to get a good job by learning JavaScript and even we can get good freelancing projects as well. We can work as a front-end developer, back-end developer and full-stack developer. And another question is like, what can we do with JavaScript? Earlier, JavaScript was only used in browsers to build interactive web pages, but because of huge community support and investment by large companies like Facebook and Google, these days you can build complete mobile or web apps or even games using JavaScript. One more thing here is like JavaScript versus ECMAScript. So ECMAScript is just a specification. JavaScript is a programming language that conforms to this specification. ECMA is an organization which is responsible for defining standards. Currently we have ECMAScript 2015 which is also called as ES6. So this specification defines many new features in JavaScript. If you are thinking that what we will be learning in this course here we have certain topics that we will be covering in these uh, video series. So first of all, we will be going through the syntax, then DOM events, form validations, developer tools, functions, callback, arrow function, anonymous function, array, object, loop, switch case, if else, JSON, promise, fetch API, loc lexical scoping, closer, asynchronous JavaScript and also we will be creating games and some minor projects as well. I will be using VS Code Editor and Chrome browser. So let me show you that how you can download the VS Code Editor. You should go to the Google and just search that VS Code Editor. Here you will be getting Visual Studio Code. So once you will be clicking over it, you will be getting this uh, this uh, screen and over here you will be getting download for windows so once you are clicking on this drop down you will be getting mac os windows and linux so currently i will be using the windows so i will be clicking on this button so once i am clicking on this button this is actually the stable release so here you will be getting the message like thanks for downloading vs code for windows i already downloaded so i am gonna pause this one for now so I have paused this and let me show you once you are going to install each and everything you will be getting this type of uh, window here so here you will be getting all the files and you can create the new file by clicking over it and if you are interested to uh, create a folder then you can click on here and and one more thing you have to do here is like you need to install few uh, extensions here which are really important to format your code. For example, I have installed Prettier code formatter. So this is helping me to uh, automatically format my code. Then I have React snippet uh, later when we will be uh, learning about the React. Then of course this will be helping us to debug our code. Uh, code. So let me show you, for example, I have this uh, page here, test.html. So if I am deleting this one and I am writing here, sign of exclamation and then pressing enter, then you can see that automatically I got the code here, the structure of the HTML. For example, I am writing here h1 tag and pressing enter, then whole closing and opening tag would be over there. So this is actually helping us to make the uh, speed up over coding, right? So in this way, once you are done with the installation, then you can do the coding over here. So for example, I have here, let me write here test JavaScript training. Video. 
series so once i am saving this and you can see that automatically that got formatted and i have one more file here man.js so if i am interested to write some javascript code here then i will be including that inside of this one for example i am writing here script tag and in in that way i can use that that one so let me show you on the output screen that how is it looking here so i have this one once i am refreshing this i got javascript training video series so in this way i will be using the chrome browser for running my javascript code and i will be using the vs code editor in the coming videos thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead